The Golden Gate Bridge is about two feet longer in summer than in winter. At least, it would be if the engineers didn't account for thermodynamics. And that's because everything changes size when its temperature changes. It's not magic, it's physics. Take a lump of solid iron and zoom in. As you get closer and closer, first you'll see individual crystal grains, then you'll see magnetic domains, and then, eventually, you'll see individual atoms bound together by metallic bonds. If you look closely, those individual iron atoms are jiggling ever so slightly. You might also observe that the hotter the iron is, the more the individual atoms jiggle, and that fact is key to explaining the phenomenon of thermal expansion. In fact, it's been known for over a century that the temperature of a lump of iron or bucket of water or balloon filled with gas is simply a measure of the average speed of the atoms and molecules that make up the thing. The higher the temperature, the faster the atoms and molecules move. So if you heated up the iron as you zoomed in on it, those iron atoms would jiggle faster. And it's also been known for over a century that we can, with reasonable accuracy, treat a solid like iron as if it were made of a bunch of atoms joined together by imperfect springs. Those springs aren't to be treated as symmetrical. They push harder than they pull. These are called anharmonic oscillators, and a class of example of such an oscillator's potential is called the Leonard-Jones potential. Notice how it's steeper on the left, meaning it's more resistant to being compressed than being stretched. Anyway, it's the asymmetry between compression and stretching specifically that gives rise to thermal expansion. With these two facts in mind, what happens if you increase the temperature of a solid? Well, because the average speed of each iron atom has to be larger, that means that each iron atom can pull or push on the springs holding it in place slightly harder. But because the springs are more resistant to being compressed than they are to being stretched, on average, the iron atoms are pushed further apart. And if all the iron atoms are supposed to be further apart from each other on average, when the temperature is higher, the entire crystal has to grow. That is, it expands.